Just on the market trends this morning, the automotive spare parts sector isn't wearing a good look as dealers and customers alike are heavily lamenting the galloping spike in the landing of cost of automotive spare parts. And of course, that has increased by at least 40 to 100 percent in the last couple of weeks. Uh, let us have a look at some of the reactions from both buyers and dealers alike. The thing is really affecting us. There, there are some items that I sold, coming to rebuy them. I buy more than the amount I sold them. So any shop you went to, they will tell you it's because of dollar, yeah. and the, and the cost of thing as in transportation and the rest. So they are looking for how to meet up with things. That is the reason because them they say they are doing expenses too. The only thing I know is that. I know that people, people's cry have got into their ear uh, because I'm not the first person to express myself in this manner. But the only thing I'm saying is that they have to help, you understand, uh -huh. to help us in, in the area of fuel and uh, other things so that things will normalize. You understand so so that things will be moving the way it, it moves you know, it's, it usually be you understand so that is where i'm i have to come in in, in this kind of issue the economy is so bad now that is affecting especially the business people in the country the the cost the thing we get it now is so high because of the dollar rates and by bringing it in here it takes more time Coming back here, we stay sometimes in the market, everywhere is dried. Because many Africans that used to come to the market, they have started going outside for their own business. Not like before, that they used to come to buy from us because of the price, the rate of the dollar. So the economy is so bad. Some items before, we sell it at 7,000, 8,000, but now, even 13,000, you can't get it. 14,000, you can't even get it. So the high, the high, the rate is higher. If the dollar can come down, the price rate will come down. Getting it outside is almost the same thing that we used to get it before. But it's just the price, the money, that the exchange that we are going to change before getting it outside is the issue. Before, when you sell something and do well, be it will be lesser. But now, by the time you sell. To ship it in to your customer, maybe in Cameroon, the higher, the price now is very high because of the fuel prices. Some of our customers, we don't longer have contact with them because some, they, have, they say that it's better for them to go to where we get it, to go and get it direct instead of coming to buy from us because the, the rates they are getting it from us now is very high. So they don't want again. My dear, I would just say it's just God that is keeping us in this country. It's not our government. It's not because our government is not doing anything for us. It's just God that is keeping us in our business today. Because everything has gone sour. And our government too that is not helping us is some of the challenges. Because if government should help us in the dollar rates and all those exchange the fair price, I think it would be a better place for us. That is some challenges we face. And the bad market is also the challenges that we face in this, our businesses. If things continue happening like this, the business is going down, the suffering is going higher, and the children will suffer it in the society. This economy affects sweepers badly more than other businesses. Listen, it's not eatable item. Another one does not produce here in the country. All of them is only importation. We only import. Nigeria doesn't produce spare parts. You import, you change Naira to hard currency. You ship, you clear in the wharf. Clearance in the wharf is not friendly. By the time the goods are live here in the country and they put in your shop, 
if you calculate everything, purchasing price, and added the clearing price, everything, the price will be very high. For example, people that uh, maybe that their goods are live three months back or two months back, and they that you offer that just now, maybe your own are live just now, this month, they will be selling better than you. Because they think that the price they got their own then, they can sell this price now and they will buy another quantities, maybe in return. No. If you think today's own, you are better than maybe you bought your own yesterday and today's own are better than uh, yesterday own is better than today's own. No. By the time you finish selling the one you you imported, you can't be able to get more items. Example, if you purchase for ten items before, maybe last month, three months, what I mean, today, after selling, you can't be able to get like that ten again. You will come down from the quantity. The exchange is the main problem. For example, if you supply to your customer now, this customer will be arguing with you telling you that I cannot be able to sell because of the high price. Sometimes, if you supply on credit, the person cannot be happy to pay you. When you're demanding to pay you, the person will be saying, how much are you going to remove? Why, at initially, the person happily say, okay, supply. But by the time of payment, they can pay all the money. Why? They did not meet up in selling. They didn't sell up to the price in the in, they expected. No much profit. No profit at times. Sometimes here you sell your cost. Sometimes here you somebody will just come when you tell the person the price, the person will agree with you. Not knowing that the person has something in mind. You just want to satisfy the customer and get the money there. But in return, the person will begin to price afresh. How much am I going to pay you? Knowing that this one is very costly. And you're welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. It is still a brand new break. So that, of course, is what is happening currently in the automotive market.